Another thing I would say that our society says is no commitment is required. That's why we have terms like friends with benefits or hooking up, uh, the term casual sex, because our society would suggest sex is just a physical act. It's just something that you do just because it feels good. And so you can do this with anybody you want to and you don't have to be in relationship. You don't have to be committed. Matter of fact, that's kind of the basic idea behind the hooking up um, issue is, you know, we get together, we do our sexual thing, and then we each go our own way. Matter of fact, the requirement is there is no commitment. You, you don't expect anything beyond the moment. Um, we do what we do, and then you're out of my life, and you have no right to expect anything in return, and I don't owe you anything had an opportunity to sit down and talk and basically listen to a 15-year-old a little while back. Uh, he came to me after presentation and obviously there was, there was a lot on his mind and he was wanting to get a chance to just kind of you know, download feelings that he had related to some sexual behavior. One of the issues that seemed to be bothering him uh, a pretty good bit goes back to this idea of the no commitment. As a 15-year-old, one day after school, a girl came over to his house engaged in sexual behavior and she left and the next day she called him and he said I pretended I wasn't me I told her I wasn't me I didn't know who she was looking for and that person didn't live here and after several months he's dealing with the guilt of this idea that at that moment in time it was all about just what made him happy and the fact that she wanted something beyond that um, he wanted no part of but again I think that's just one example of countless examples of people uh, perceiving that sexual behavior is something that happens outside of a commitment and that perception because our culture teaches us that